evening. I'm in a spot I've never been before. I've, I bought it on the map for a couple of years. I wanted to hunt a spot I've been hunting, but I wanted to go in the backside, so I hiked all the way over there this morning. It took me about an hour and hike all the way up over this ridge, drop down the bottom, up the hauler, zigzag back, and then get up on the ridge. And I worked and bowl around and got set up on an oak flat that I saw a good sign last year. However, there's no sign this year. There's two little rubs. I think once the bucks start rutting and pushing those around, I think that'll get used more, but right now it's not. So I got down and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go check out this ridge because on the way in, there was five scrapes on the trail I walked in. And to me, it looked like the buck was coming from this direction, which is where I've always wanted to check out. So I come back, got up on the ridge behind me, worked out. There's two scrapes at the beginning of the ridge. Then I started working out the ridge. Absolutely nothing. Decided to drop down in the bottom because the wind, I got a south southeast wind which is blowing this way. So I'm hoping that there's some deer bedded are going to be moving in this bottom or these points over here because there was a scrape up on this trail close up this point, this point here, a point here, and there's a ridge that runs this way in this bottom. It's really thick. And uh, there's two trails, actually three trails coming together right here onto this main trail. And there's three scrapes right there. And I made another one right over here. So I'm hoping stuff will move down in here this evening. Um, wind will be blowing back this way, it'd be perfect. I, uh, I went ahead and put some scent down here and over there just in case something does get downwind to me this way. It might keep some attention because the scrapes are 45 yards this way. And um, I got this tree right here which is kind of protecting me if something walks this way. I'm on sky, I'm on sky lit. I got this tree as a backdrop. I really like this setup this evening. This spot is really pretty. I definitely feel like deer feel safe down in here. So we're gonna see what happens. It's four o'clock.
Although I didn't shoot him, I'm still pretty tickled. That's a big win. I, uh, I covered a lot of ground today. Took a nap midday in the leaves. Actually up on the ridge up there. Just looking for sign this time of the year. Got down in this bottom, I'd, I'd eye on the map for a couple years and uh, turned out to look a lot better than I'd hoped. One major trail running through the thicket in the bottom. Uh, west blowing south the west, circled, looped in. I walked this trail, saw where three trails came together. I made a scrape, I put some scent down, I backtracked, I got in the tree, and he did exactly what I was hoping a buck would do. He come out, he hit that scrape, he followed the scent I put on the ground, he come right underneath me, and they went out and made a scrape right here and then hit the other scrapes. And then he made a new, another scrape way back in there before going the rest of the way up the holler. So, that's a win. It's my first day on my little rutgation. I'm off until next Friday evening, so. It's Tuesday right now, the 25th. I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna end it so soon. If he'd have been a, a little bit older, same frame, heavier, I probably would have shot him. I, I probably should have shot him, but I don't know. I liked, I just liked chasing him. And uh, I got the win. So now I'm looking for something a little bigger.